Welcome back to Living 808. Stories about vaping lung injuries have shined a spotlight on the dangers of e-cigarette use. Yeah, Adventist Health Castle weighed in on the hazards and help available to kick the habit. I'm here with Dr. Lowe to get the latest on vaping. Dr. Lowe, this is more recent occurrence. What do we know right now about some of the concerns and health problems? Well, one of the things that we learn is that this vaping is just actually now from an outbreak now becoming an epidemic nationwide. And it's something that is actually preventable, something that we are actually doing to ourselves. Many people think that vaping is actually a way to transition from being a nicotine addiction smoking cigarette now to vaping that will transition to um, to you not having to be a smoker anymore. On the other hand, younger people are actually uh, interested in doing that because they say this is a really a really exciting way to be able to get into the pier and be able to smoke. And what we don't know is that these are actually injury that can be preventable. These vaping is actually a creation of a very hot material that you are actually going inside the lung and you do this all day long. Some of the people that I have taken care of actually are doing about 300 to sometimes 600 pools of these a day. Dr. Lowe, can you actually show us some images that illustrate what happens when someone vapes? Sure thing. Let me show you what we have. So what you have right here is a typical chest x-ray of a patient that would have these vaping injury. This part right here is the right lung, this is the left lung, this is the heart. And what you normally would see in a lung is all the air that is black in color. Yes, you can see here in this particular chest x-ray in this patient with a vaping injury, they actually have a lot of white part that is actually infiltration of some kind of inflammatory process. So you can see it on both sides here. Very, very impressively different from what you would expect normally seen in a normal chest x-ray. What we have here now is a CAT scan. This is a computerized axial tomography CAT scan, which actually of the chest, this is the front part of the chest, this is the back part of the chest, this is the spine, this is the windpipe, the right lung, the left lung, and you can see that air is black when you do the CAT scan. And so this is actually a pretty normal looking part of the CAT scan of the chest. But as you can see that as we go further down on the chest, you can see a lot more white part here that actually are representing the damage from the vaping injury. It can fool you to look like a pneumonia, but you can see that most of the time pneumonia doesn't go in all over the place. How about the patients you're seeing? What is their prognosis? So far, what we have done for all the cases that I've taken care of, they have really responded very well. But there are report, reported cases of people being on mechanical ventilation where they're fully supported by helping them breathe with a machine. All my patients actually left the hospital very well. Yeah, we give them bronchodilator. We do give them antibiotic just according to what the CDC guideline recommendation. We follow the rule of what they recommend. We give them bronchodilator, antibiotic, oxygen, mm -hmm. breathing, breathing exercise, and, they, uh, and then some, some of the cases I actually have to give them some steroid. But all these are actually right now are still out there. The jury is still out. We don't know exactly what are the parameters. The CDC has actually put out the guideline exactly of what all of us as lung specialists and all doctors should actually be following. And you can look that up. All right, Dr. Lowe, thank you so much. Of course, here at Adventist Health Castle, they're also in the business of getting people off of smoking and e-cigarettes. And we talked to an expert about some of the things that you can do. Many people decide that they want to quit vaping because number one it's really affecting their life whether it's their uh, relationships or their finances and many people feel that they're just being a slave to vaping they're constantly vaping then they decide this has to be a change for them because it's going to affect their family they want to be there for their family I have a story of a mom who she quit vaping and she was so happy because with all the money that she saved, she was able to take time and be with her kids and take them to Disneyland. I would say the other reason is they didn't realize vaping was so dangerous and so they felt, felt the, the consequences of that, whether it's a collapsed lung or some other serious illness that they've had and they want to live a better life. Thank you so much, Dr. Lowe. Of course, we'll post everything you need to know about this and keep following updates on this and post everything at khon2.com.
You know, it's really alarming to, to see the actual images there of what this does to the lungs. You hear about the collapsed lungs and everything, and the fact that it's become a thing for kids in school. They post themselves right. vaping and share it with their friends and everything. So really, I know what you're doing there, hearing from the medical experts at Castle. Exactly. And we were even saying, like, you know, talking about the kids and everything, they also talk about, like, the different flavors mm -hmm. that you can get. So, yeah, just be aware of what, what you're going to be taking in. Exactly. Exactly.